Oh, he's a puller. Look at this. There it was again. Bring him over here. Oh. Oh, no. A big one. That's a good There's no part of the crab on it. On its mouth right here. <laughs> okay, let me hold the camera. I'll run the camera and you uh... oh, is it running? Yep. Okay, let's see. What did we catch here? Just got a double on the White bass, silver bass. Whoop. Oh, one guy. Single and a half. Yeah. Well, all right. Just pulled up another double on a perch rig. Here's our fifth silver bass. Getting a good stringer going today. We're only, we've only been here for about 15 minutes now. So, pulling up doubles almost every time. So I'm gonna keep setting. Sixth silver bass of the day. Just using per trigs with the metal. I'm gonna put him on the stringer too. Just got the seventh silver bass using minnows. It was almost a double. One of them got off as soon as we pulled it up. Just another one for the stringer though. Is it swimming for shore again? Yeah. It's going to come there. There's something out here. Oh, the good, good, the right oh, there it is right there. Just came up to the surface. See it? Yeah, it's a sheep head. Just a little one. Still fun to catch. Watch them drop your camera in the water. I can't see them, can you? Oh, it's right there. Destroyed the crayfish. You see what he did to that thing? Hold it up. Monster fish of the day. <laughs> Get the frying pan ready. He got it out, but he bent the hook a lot. There's a fish. I'm gonna throw him back, okay? Don't. Here's our stringer now. We caught two more uh, silver bass since and uh 27 inch pike i think yeah this is actually my first pike but here's what we've got so far hey gary Papa, we got oh you snagged our other line here yeah it's okay though just deal with it when we get it done Is it still running? Yeah, he's oh, that's a big one. He's upset about something. Did you ever send in that last angler for him? Somebody I had it on my in my room and somebody moved it. Haven't yeah, seen it, but I'm gonna cleaning. print out another one. I got a bunch more of them with me today. I just picked them up today. The cleaning lady. That's a big one. So if this one's bigger. Send this one in its back. <laughs> this is his though. Uh, well, you can get one too. <sighs> okay, let me let me get one. That's a nice one. Ow. There you go. Okay. What is this running? Yeah. 
trees. Well, that's a little bigger, isn't it? Yeah. Don't throw the net in the water. <laughs> there. This one's fat. That's, that ought to qualify. Well, here we have today's catch from the St. Clair River. A whole bunch of silver bass and one pike. All the other ones, the perch and all the sheephead got thrown back into the river. These are all, that pike's a nice size, about 27, 28 inches. And it looks like, uh, he was eating a lot of minnows lately. I'm all done cleaning the fish out now. Right here is our uh, silver perch. There's all our fillets, all deboned. Uh, and then right here are all these scraps. I'm freezing these in the big chest freezer over there. These are gonna be coon mink bait. Nothing really goes to waste. This is the first pike that I caught, but uh, when I cut it open, I found all these little worms just like this. I'm not sure if that's normal, but I'm not going to eat it just because of all the worms. There was a ton of them, but it's the only one I can see left right now. But I'm going to freeze the head and self mount it. Here's so how I'm cooking it, I'm just taking it right from the bowl, flipping it, dipping it in the milk, and putting it in here, flipping it both sides, tossing it in with some butter, and uh, pulling it out right there. It's pretty good. <laughs> 